Thank you everyone who watched my last video and made requests for what you'd like to see next. If you haven't seen the first video in this series, the link is on screen and in the description. It covers the very basics of calculations for cell culture, including how to work out how to get specific concentrations or numbers of cells, and the all-important dilution factor. The second video in this series covered the tripan blue assay, so if you're unfamiliar with that, I recommend you go back and watch the video. In this video, I'm going to go back to basics and talk about subculturing and the calculations you need for that. It's important to remember that different cell types require different conditions. That includes media, but also cell concentration. The best thing you can do is look at the manufacturer page for your cell type. Here is an example from the ATCC for a common cell line. You can see here under subculturing that it tells you that you should subculture when cell concentration reaches 8 times 10 to the 5 cells per mil. It also says do not allow the cell concentration to exceed 1 times 10 to the 6 cells per mil. The instructions say you should subculture at 2 to 4 times 10 to the 5 cells per mil. Let's go through what this would look like in real life with this cell type as an example. You have a flask of cells that have been growing, and you measure the viability with a simple assay like the tripan blue test, which I talked about in the previous video, and find that you have 9 times 10 to the 5 viable cells per mil, which means that you need to subculture them. We know we need to subculture our flask of cells, and we know that we need to have 2 to 4 times 10 to the 5 cells per mil. You also need to know how big the culture flask is that you'll be using. For this example, let's say you're using a small culture flask that only holds 5 mils. That means our known variables are the current volume, which is 10 mils, our current concentration, which is 9 times 10 to the 5 cells per mil, our desired concentration, which remember was between 2 and 4 times 10 to the 5 cells per mil, so let's call that 3 times 10 to the 5 cells per mil. And our final volume, which we've just said is 5 mils because we'll be using a small flask. First, we need to calculate our dilution factor, which if you remember from part 1, is equal to the current concentration divided by the concentration you want. So in this case, 9 times 10 to the 5 cells per mil divided by 3 times 10 to the 5 cells per mil. Obviously, the 10 to the 5 cells per mil cancel each other out. You're left with 9 divided by 3, which is, of course, 3. So our dilution factor is 3. That means we have to dilute our cells by a factor of 3 to get them to the desired concentration. You could dilute all of the cells you currently have, which is 10 mils worth. Again, from the equation shown in part 1, this would mean that your new volume is equal to the old volume times by dilution factor. So in this case, you would have the new volume equal to 10 mils times 3, which is the dilution factor, which of course equals 30 mils. You already have 10 mils, so it would mean adding another 20 mils of fresh media on top. However, we said in our example that we only want a subculture into a small flask, which only holds 5 mils. Therefore, it would be a waste to make up 30 mils of cells and then throw most of them out. So instead, we're only going to make the amount we actually need, which is 5 mils. So the question is, how much of our current cell suspension do we need? And how much fresh media do we add on top? This can be calculated by rearranging our equation. The new volume was equal to the old volume times by the dilution factor. In this case, we already know that the new volume is going to be 5 mils. So put that into the equation along with the dilution factor. Divide both sides by 3 to get rid of the dilution factor. So you have 5 mils divided by 3, which is about 1.67 mils. So, we need 1.67 mils of our current cell suspension. We know that our final volume is going to be 5 mils, so we just have to work out how much media to add. Our final volume, that is the 5 mils, 
is equal to the volume of cell suspension we use plus the amount of fresh media. So our final volume, as I said, is five mils. We know we're gonna add 1.67 mils of cells. So we rearrange that equation, five minus 1.67 equals 3.33 mils. So we need 3.33 mils of fresh media. For subculturing, this doesn't have to be exact. You saw in the manufacturer's instructions that the acceptable range is 2 to 4 times 10 to the 5 cells per mil. So you could always round the amounts we've calculated to 2 mils of cells and 3 mils of fresh media. Congratulations, you've now subcultured cells. Just remember to adjust these equations depending on the manufacturer instructions and the size of the culture flask that you're using. Good luck with your cell culture and all of your experiments.